Gentlemen, welcome back to the Tej Hanley Starting a Business, Building a Brand vlog number seven. I'd like to start by just thanking all of you for watching these and for supporting us and being engaged in this process. It's so much fun for me and for Rob and Kelly just hearing the comments, getting the feedback. When you guys are signing up for the email list, if you guys haven't done that over at Tej.com, you can do so and be a part of the beta testing process. Also get special updates and discounts on products when we actually launch stuff. Um, that link is down in the description. But what amazed us is how many of you actually gave a comment when you signed up for, for, the, for the email list. And it was so like, you guys know because I read the comments that it, you guys are just so incredible. <laughs> I mean seriously, I can't tell you how much I personally appreciate all the support, all the love all the encouragement that you guys showed. Uh, to answer a lot of the questions that we got during the email um, sign up process, you know, yes, we are going to be shipping internationally. So don't sweat it. Everybody can get Teach Hanley when the time is right. Um, it's so exciting. <laughs> every week and every day, I just get more like, we, we see, this process is so cool and it's so exciting because it's, it's three people that are brainstorming, collaborating, talking things through. And the beautiful thing about being such a small operation is that we can turn, pivot, and try things or, or change things on a dime. And so we're, we're having so much fun just with the process that we're in and this, this journey that, that we've embarked on. A uh, little update, we're still working through the legal uh, documents. Um, getting the operating agreement locked down. There's, we hope to have a draft this week. It's been quite the arduous process. Um, a lot of questions, a lot of things that we've had to talk about and be big boys about because honestly there are some scenarios that you, you don't hope happen but it's, uh, it's a potential reality. And so we want to make sure that we're set up and setting ourselves up for the best possible you know, trajectory, no matter what happens to us, and that Tiege can really live on, kick ass, and just skyrocket. So while legal is sort of doing its thing, we have started the process of building a website, or I should say getting quotes for websites. And so today I wanted to talk a bit about the website process, because I have a lot of websites. I even have a website development company, Squirrel Lab. Um, that is also listed and linked down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Um, and so I do have some experience with website development. And it's funny because back in the day when I started my first business, my, my nutrition store, nobody, this is back in like 98, right? Nobody had a website, right? You had business cards and you had, nobody had a website. Now, can you even imagine having a business and not having a website? That's where people go to discover you. That's how people find you. It's not the yellow pages, it's the internet. And given the fact that we are going to be selling our products online exclusively at this point, it's incredibly important that we get it right. And so today I wanted to talk a bit about websites because a lot of people, when they get started and they're starting a business, think that they need some super massive, robust, kick-ass bells and whistle website. When all you really need is something simple and basic for now, don't spend a zillion dollars developing your website. All right, there are really two ways that you can go in terms of website development. There is 100% custom, or actually three. There's a custom website where you have a developer that they basically do all the coding from scratch. This is expensive. The next option is taking a template or somebody who's created a theme and basically just plugging in, changing things. You can essentially customize a template. Almost everything is customizable, but it saves a lot of time, it saves a lot of energy, but most importantly, it saves a lot of money. A great place to go and look for website themes is a place called themeforest.com. That's also listed and linked down in the description if you guys wanna go check it out. But there, if you are having like an e-commerce site, you can go and look at different specific shopping cart platforms like WooCommerce, big 
Commerce, Magento, there are so many different shopping platforms out there. Uh, but you really just need to do your research and figure out which one's going to be right for you and the easiest for you or your developer to customize and implement. Um, the next or the third option is taking a template and then customizing aspects of it. Um, and if you have a good developer, most developers can actually do that. And so finding a theme, I would say that 99% of you guys out there, it's going to be the way to go because it's going to be the cheapest, it's going to be the fastest, and it's going to definitely serve the purposes that you're going to need your website to serve. For us, however, um, we're going to need to basically spend a little bit of cash and uh, our website needs to be pretty awesome. Not necessarily like front facing, it doesn't need a bunch of bells and whistles, but on the back end there needs to be a lot of flexibility and functionality built into our website and it'll make a lot more sense as we move down and further through this process when I can actually tell you a bit more about our model and what we're going to be doing which is super cool, <laughs> by the way. Um, and so our website, we're gonna spend, you know, thousands on. Not like 20,000, but thousands. Um, you know, that's one of the, the realities of, of web development and doing custom websites. We're getting three quotes. We've gotten one and we're gonna get two more before we get started, but a decision needs to be made like then the next week because we need to get started. Um, websites take a little bit of time to build, but they also take time to test, all right? Because you don't want to launch a business or a company and be selling products online if you haven't thoroughly tested it because there is nothing worse than tech problems. Bringing me to another point, you are always going to need a developer or somebody that can basically troubleshoot and fix problems because technology breaks. Always, it breaks. There are always bugs and issues that you're going to have. Um, one thing I would recommend if you are getting a website to make sure that it's mobile friendly and reactive. Basically meaning that if it's on the PC, it looks one way. If you go on a tablet, it looks another. And on your phone, it's going to look another. As well as if you change the justification. All right, your website needs to be mobile friendly these days. If it's not, Google is not going to rank it as high as websites or your competitors that are mobile friendly. So that is absolutely a must have in any website that you build. It was also cool because on this week's meeting, we started looking at some other websites and, and getting an idea for color schemes and what we like. But for us, you know, uncomplicated. We keep coming back to that uncomplicated skincare for men. And so we want it to be simple. We want it to be clean, masculine, and sexy. And so, <laughs> sounds simple, right? <laughs> of course it does. It always sounds simple. Um, but yeah, we're really excited to move forward with that. Um, the website is an integral part of Tej Hanley. We need it. Um, all the customers are going to have, you know, the ability to log in and manage their account and all sorts of cool stuff, um, which I'll tell you more about later. I can now because we're paranoid and we're not there yet, but soon enough. And so, I don't know. I guess I'm going to leave it there. So are you going to need a website? Yes. Are you going to need to spend a ton of cash in order to get one? No. Theme Forest is a great resource for templates. Um, it's like li literally like 20 bucks, 50 bucks. There are some crazy, incredible website templates out there. And it's funny because once you start looking at templates, like you can go on and see what popular templates are. And then you start looking at all these different sites and you start seeing a theme. You're like, hey, you use that template. It's kind of funny. Once you get into it, you'll notice and you'll start looking at websites in a different way. You'll be analyzing everything. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. But anyway, guys, just wanted to give you a quick update, tell you what's going on, what's happening, and let you know that if you have questions, business-related questions, Tej Hanley-related questions, please don't hesitate in the comment section below. The goal is to answer some questions. Either we go in and manually answer or I address it if I feel that it would benefit a bunch of people um, in the vlog. But this is really cool, like I said, and I, I can't tell you how much it means to me that you would come along for this ride. Because I know that this isn't like the most exciting thing in the world. It's not like I'm jumping all around the screen and um, you know, it's, it's, it's business. It's letting you in on how we're doing things and, and 
the start of a business. It's going to be really cool in a year, two years, three years from now for when, when, cause it's going to happen when Tej Hanley is like a monster brand and you can say that you kind of came along for the ride, not kind of, you came along from the ride and you were there from literally the day I was talking about a website. And, um, so that's, that's really awesome. And, uh, it just feels great guys. Entrepreneurship is amazing. It's not for everybody, but if you've got a vision, if you've got a passion, if you've got an idea, I 100% encourage you to go after it. Like I said, I don't fear failure. I don't feel re fear rejection. What I fear is not going after something I know is a great idea. Guys, down below, all the links I mentioned. Also, if you haven't signed up for the newsletter, tige.com, make it happen. Guys, thanks so much. We love you.